Welcome to Club Wisdom 8. I'm as worried about Vesper as anyone else, but I think we've got to not just think, okay, about like games like Shining Force. I think we should actually feel for, um, how do I put it? The, the shareholders of this company. I know, I know they're like people who we have no connection to, but it's those shareholders who will at the end of the day, they're going to be the ones who are going to choose. Well, I'm, I'm, I was going to say they're going to be the ones who are going to choose whether we get Shining Force or not. But actually, it, they're not. At the moment, the first choice will go. It's going to be. It's going to be Kostak regulators, because Vespa, strangely enough, are still under scrutiny. They're still delisted. They're still not back on, and this is shocking because this is Monday opening um shareholder trading day, and it's been exactly a month since this awful news about Vespa who are making Shining Force like like literally being taken off the stock market and everything practically being stopped apart from the basic jobs that need to be done. Basic jobs are literally what cutting off um kicking off a server from um king's raid and giving basic updates to the to the king's raid game if you ask me the company must be pretty demoralized so how far are they pushing with developments of um shining force well i'm guessing things will have slowed down and as well as lockdowns i mean yeah in the west lockdowns are all like lifting and stuff but not in asia at all hong kong is crazy singapore is crazy i don't know about um korea at the moment but i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if there's a similarity now with regard to vespa with regard to updates from march yes they have um there's lots of things to worry about with the company so if someone was even interested in the company it's just highly volatile and low earnings. Uh, in fact, the minus in earnings. From the end of 2021, before the news came out, around August, their shares just, they didn't, they didn't just fall, like, from 27, well, from here, from 31. Like, like, they, by a third, it decreased by a third. Do you know how like significant that is? That's like, I mean, that's a substantial decrease. I mean, that really, and then and then look at that. It went down from ten to three. It's like it nearly, it nearly became worthless. Like it went under, it went under a margin that is like, it, it went so far that Kozdak had to like, they had to be completely de, like they're practically like delisted now. They are delisted, but, well. How do I put it? They're called delisted, but in one respect, they're not 100% delisted. They are taken off. They're taken off the COSDAC, and, but will they be put back on the COSDAC? This is very difficult to know. Um, I'm starting, I'm starting to worry that maybe they won't. If they won't be put back on the COSDAC, then they'd, literally become like like what the americans would call the pink sheets like they'd literally become like the dollar they'd become like the most they'd be in the most awful situation and i think they'd be forced to sell every asset and maybe just keep one little asset if that's the case i anyway even if that's the case i really doubt it i think cash will be injected into the company because it's the first time it's gone to this kind of situation so i i i have more faith in the company than that now let's look at the news the most recent one was actually 2021 november 17th and it's actually very interesting news um okay so third quarter 2021 okay so they yeah we saw the loss per share we saw the loss down 35 percent well i think it went down even more than that <laughs> So um yeah, thirty five percent loss widened by twenty four percent. Um there's more news than that. I wanted to look at something from March seventeenth in twenty twenty one. Um actually even during March twenty twenty one the news also showed that um Vespa were in danger. You can spend some time and you can actually read this. 
but um how um the main points i believe was that their debt their debt equity ratio like was pretty um that's a pretty high number and what was happening was is that their debt their liabilities increased so much that it was overtaking their assets so the amount of money that vespa were making was was being lost to liabilities and even more so even even worse is that um no fresh money was coming into vespa nothing fresh so they were like probably recycling old money i don't know but the point being is that because they had no fresh money coming in they had like everyone kind of has the idea that they're just going to keep borrowing or they're just going to go they're going to plummet into oblivion and disappear so this is this is this is the worry and this is what the financial regulators are looking into and that's why vespa has been taken off the stock market because their loss year upon year has reached a crucial level um let's let's keep going down and get to the point price to earning ratio generally speaking overvalued overvalued they think that if if they think if they think the shares which are really low are overvalued that's even more worrying <laughs> um i wanted to show a certain graph i saw so you can just pause and always take a look at this information but what i would like to know minus 185 percent last year so yeah the kind of decrease that they have is huge um here this is what i really want to deal with the financial health now i can tell you that from reading they're not a hundred then they haven't they, they admit they haven't done enough research to know that about the long term however this for anyone who just wants to have some i don't know positivity <laughs> their assets look to for a projected increase over the long term their liabilities could be set to decrease now i'm not sure how they based i'm not sure how they based this like how they figured it out that their liabilities are decreasing especially when at the moment they're increasing so it's clear that if they keep going with king's raid they're not going to make more money they're going to lose the asset of king's raid will decrease if they make the, with the new king's raid could that lead to an increase in their assets maybe yes but their assets, um, their time defenders is definitely going to be a liability and make them lose money. And servers and staff on King's Raid, they are quite expensive to keep. So I don't see, I think a lot of things are going to become a liability. And will Shining Force become, Shining Force at the moment will probably be seen as an asset. However, it will become a liability if it does badly. And if they push and rush out the release of Shining Force like they did with Time Defenders, then Shining Force again will will be a mess. So it's it's very worrying about like what what's going to happen here with Vespa. You know, their debt level is is high. I mean, what does that mean? It means that they're going to need to get money quickly and what's the best way to get money quickly it would probably be to to have a have a game probably to publish a game that does well and the only choices they have to in terms of game publishing is the new king's raid and the new shining force that's all they have left and i've looked into vespa and it seems they do own some kind of entertainment industry and that's the only like 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 some kind of like music production or something like some k-pop people and actually that's the only business that seems to do well but it doesn't make that much money on the grand scale of things so they have one business that does well but their their gaming side is just losing money it's bleeding so they need a new game i i have a bad feeling if you think about shareholders so like in terms of how the who owns the shares in this company where are the shareholders where are the share members here we go now 
If you think about the majority of shareholders, individual insiders and the general public, if you think about these, you've got to think they're they're going to be main, mainly Korean. And you're going to think like what like Korean people and Korean businesses. Will they care more about King's Raid or Shining Force? Well, it's going to be pretty clear that um King's Raid will definitely be number one to these people. Um, because Shining Force was not the major game in Korea, and anyone who probably knows it, knows it from a long, 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 long time ago. So, but if the public have less faith in, let's say, King's Raid, in the future of King's Raid, because they know it's going down and they think it can't go up, and they trust, like, the brand of Sega, then things could turn around. But I would say definitely possible that an American market of shareholders would have gone for the perhaps the Sega route. But I can tell you from being in Asia for as long as I have been that definitely they will most likely go the traditional the traditional that the point being is that I'm sorry to say that the shareholders definitely most likely are going to put their efforts into into King's Raid, into putting it into King's Raid, putting funding, more in funding into King's Raid. But if, if Shining Force really is finished, if this delisting situation has made the people making Shining Force, the developers, if it's made the developers really worried, so I, I think it's a double-edged sword. It's like, well, anyway, it could go in two directions. It, it either the developers like completely like just stopped and got completely demoralized, or they did the complete opposite and they're like, we love this game and we want to bring it out. But I'm not sure because we don't actually. I couldn't. It's been so hard to find anyone developing Shining Force, and it makes me think maybe they're not doing it for the love of it. So again, I'm I'm I'm. I'm really skeptical. Mm. If I think if if the shares were held by the institution, like I think if it was like yeah, if it was done differently, if the if the stocks were owned by different people in a different way, things could have been much better. And and for example, I, I must say if if Camelot had owned the IP and taken it from Sega and this IP was bought from Camelot well in fact not bought from Camelot let's just say that if let's say Camelot is connected to Nintendo and the IP had the Nintendo logo on it I think that would look much better but then again who knows because Korean Co Koreans don't Koreans they don't even like Japan. They don't even like Japan. They're so racist to Japanese. So it makes me wonder. I have a feeling the shareholders could even blame Shining Force. They could even blame Time Defenders as being released in Japan. I think a lot of blame for Vespa going down will have nothing to do with King's Raid from the people in the company. It will most likely be exactly about the things that we want. Shining Force. I have a bad feeling this could be the blame. And if that's the case, it could work out better. Because Shining Force could end up being sold. And then I would feel safer knowing that a company like Vespa doesn't have Shining Force. Because I, I honestly at this moment would like would like a company such as come to us or like if it has to be sold in Korea I can think of much much better companies to take Shining Force ideally if it was sold to Nintendo that would be the best situation hand it over to Camelot let Camelot finish it off that would be the best situation and that would make a lot of people happy Sega should have done that in the first place I honestly there must be some huge conspiracy as to why Sega sold sold this IP to a dying company. Sega 
are not that stupid to know the company's dying. Even in March, even in March, people knew the company was dying. So Sega knew that, and Sega have died themselves. They know. They know when they're staring at themselves. Is that what made them sell it? Probably not. There's probably something really strange going on. <laughs> and I, I've decided not to get into it. However, I do like this. Jinsu King, Kim, he's the actual current CEO of the company. So the one who owns the shares took over. Now, and it's these in investment companies that sold the shares off that led to this kind of problem we have. So actually, I find this interesting. The person who owns the CEO has that amount of power. This is actually, honestly, I'm going to say, honestly speaking, this is actually similar to Sega. This is exactly the same as I remember Sega's old like CEO just before Sega went into bankruptcy. And what Sega's CEO, the reason why Sega's still standing today is because Sega's CEO s saved the company. And what he did was, I think he, I, I think he did something with the shares. I think he let go of the shares. Don't ask me how it works, but he kind of, it's like he, it, it's as though he kind of like donated the shares or done some of the shares. And it was because of that, maybe it made more money, like go around the company. I don't know. But anyway, it saved Sega and Sega was able to rise again. So that was after the Dreamcast. Now, if if the CEO has that amount of shares in the company, then I would say this is extremely this is extremely positive because if he didn't have those shares then yeah, you know, this would be um you know, he he has a huge reason to save the company. So if anything, Jinsu Kim, who took over as CEO in around like, you know, September or August or whatever, 2021, if anything, this is the guy who's gonna save it. And if if he likes Shining Force, then he will probably put energy into Shining Force. He this guy should have the vision. So everything in general, I, I reckon the future of the company in general, I expect them to be saved for a year. They're going to have a grace period. It must be. But the person who was the CEO before him must have really ruined the company big time. Something huge must have gone down. Either way, what? who is Jinso King Kim really? I've really looked into him. I've looked at, I've looked at his, um, I've looked into everything, but it's really hard to get real data on what he likes and what he really wants so i think that will be my next target so i think this is just the general update a lot of speculation but here you go there's a lot of fact as well so take of it what you will okay all the best club wisdom eight over and out